Hey guys, welcome back to DIY and Outdoors. I wanted to make a quick video today. Well, one, because I haven't posted anything in a while. I know uh, YouTube frowns upon creators or channels that don't post anything for a certain amount of time. And I'm, I am trying to get my channel to grow. Um, although, not very hard. But um, but also, just to give a quick update here on the uh, the new Kubota that I got back in June. Um, it's now October, tomorrow will be October 1st, so right at three months of use, July, August, and September. I got it at the end of June, and um, here it is, you know, end of September. Got about 39 hours, I think 39.5 here. Oh, right at 40. 40 hours on it. Um, it's been working like a champ. You know, mostly, you know, most of those hours have been mowing this grass. Uh, but a few other projects with the forks and the bucket um, picked up a uh, if you can see it out there four foot land pride box blade on Facebook marketplace a few weeks ago got a good deal on it and so today doing a quick repair on the deck um, I ran over something last week when I was mowing don't know what maybe it was a one of those dog chew ropes or something my dog's got but I bent this little piece of sheet metal underneath the deck. I'm not even sure what the purpose of this thing is other than to catch dirt and then to bend, but it bent just enough. This thing pushed up a little bit where it was making contact here with the blades. So I got underneath it here today, trying to straighten it out. And then when I take the deck off here, um, when the grass stops growing in another month or two, um, get underneath it and repair it properly, but um, just want to do a quick update on it Like I said, it's been been working great about to do a 50-hour service on it here Probably in a few weeks put the next 10 hours on it um, I do have one slight issue with the loader and it's really more of an inconvenience the um, The parking stand it won't lock in when I do the quick release um, lever here and and deploy the parking stand with the bucket um, I've got to get off and what happens is these arms as they um, ex extend to straight it goes you know um, it's the best way to describe it it extends past 180 degrees where it locks in and doesn't allow the stand to fold back up it won't go that last three or four degrees to lock in I've got to get off the tractor and I've got to push on these manually to get them to lock in it's not a huge deal haven't figured out why it's doing it yet um, might let the dealer take a crack at fixing it but really don't want to take the time to haul it in um until either i get to the 50 hour service or something else happens but like i said it's been working like a champ you see it's pretty dirty it was raining um when i was using it yesterday and got a lot of dirt and grass clippings on it um great little tractor i'll do a little bit more in-depth review when i get to 50 hours but i just want to do an update um, and I've got some, some video about the Pat's Easy Change on here. And, um, you know, as far as installing it, I just haven't edited it together to post it as a video yet. Um, in terms of my initial thoughts on using it, I've got, I don't know, I might just be one of those people that's, uh, you know, impossible to satisfy on certain things, but I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with this system yet, but, you know, again, I really only have experience box blade the, and the quick hitch over there or the, the quick carrier that I have been using as a ballast rack so but um, I'll do some more in-depth stuff when I get a little bit more time a little bit more experience to give you some some more valuable feedback but in terms of how the tractor is performing um, flawlessly so far which I'm not surprised out of, a, out of the Kubota so anyways thanks for watching hope you're doing well see you on the next one